Welcome back. If you're a foodie, listen up whilst Zanzi gears up for the launch of a very exciting season two of The Tastemaster. We're connecting with award-winning chef Margot Jansa about her experience as being a judge, of course, on season one. Margot, very good morning. Welcome. We hope you're a little bit warmer where you are. How are you today? I'm very good, but I don't think I'm warmer. I'm in <laughs> Franschhoek, and I actually, from my from my office, I can see the snow on the mountains. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, so, it You're must pleasing. look beautiful, at least. So soak that up. But great to be connecting with you. Exciting time. But I'm going to ask you to cast your mind back to what was a, an enthralling season. We were obviously watching. I was involved as one of the voice artists. It was just such an exciting process. What was it like for you to be a judge on Tastemaster? And most importantly, uh, being there to help those aspiring foodies along their incredible journey because all of them, just about, have gone on to achieve amazing th things because of that experience. What was that like? Um, I really, I think, first, firstly, I really enjoyed the, um, the energy um, of everybody, the contestants and um, obviously Gregory and, uh, and Zola. Um, there was just a great, yeah, there was a great team spirit. There was a great energy. And um, people really were there to to achieve something. Yeah, uh, it had a very positive feeling. Um, yeah, I really I really enjoyed it. And obviously now we get to see Chef Toomey just you know own her space right now. She's going out there into the space and just winning dominating, awards. winning awards. <laughs> I mean, for you as well, what was it like? You know, also just seeing the contestants grow in the culinary skills to where they are right now. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. It's obviously been a great stepping stone. Um, and I think uh, to, to put yourself out there in a competition like this, it's, um, uh, it, it makes you grow. It, you grow from it. Um, it's not easy. And I'm sure they must have asked themselves on many occasions, why am I doing this to myself? Because it's also nerve-wracking. But, you know, when you stay in your comfort zone, you don't really grow. So mm -hmm. it's, it's fantastic to see how they embrace that. I think the same could be said of, of the broader chef's journey. Uh, no one's going to give it to you. You've got to go out there and create a path for yourself. You yourself are an award-winning chef and now over 20 years of experience in the industry. I, I know you could probably spend the next three hours explaining this to me, but, but from your, in terms of how you approach it, what do you think is the key to success? How have you been able to stay on the top of your game for as long as you have? I think it's really about um, staying true to yourself and realizing that um, it's not all about you yeah. and that on your own, um, it's a really difficult journey and, and you need a team and it's, a, it's, a, it's an achievement you do with each other and you need to be more than just a great chef or being able to produce good food. You, you need to also understand business, you need to understand logistics and, and most of all, the, the human factor, how yeah. people mm -hmm. um, rely on each other. For sure. Your human capital, yeah. And Margaret, then maybe for someone who's a foodie and has bigger aspirations and wants to get on Tastemaster Season 2, what tips would you give anyone watching right now? Mm. Go for it. <laughs> if you've got that little fire burning, um, absolutely go for it. But And make sure you, you are unique. Tap into what makes you tick and what you're good at and follow that gut feel mm. and do not copy. Like really, really create your own voice because then um, if you're genuine, people will, will go for it. People will tap into that and you might just meet some truly amazing chefs along the way like Chef Margot Jansa. Uh, Margot, thank you so much for connecting with us. Wrap yourself in a big blanket if you don't already have one over. Get close to a fire, make yourself a cup of coffee and sit and watch your beautiful mountains. We're a little bit jealous, but we love you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much and, um, and keep well. Uh, that's award-winning chef Margot Jans, the founder of Isabello Charity as well, something that deserves massive kudos. The Tastemaster Season 1 judge, but of course Season 2, the baking edition, is on the way if you want to find out how you can enter and find fame and glory in a whole new career. This is how.
If you eat, sleep, and dream of baking, enter the Tastemaster Essays new season starting in September on SABC2. Grow your career in TV and as a baking influencer and stand to win 20,000 rands cash plus 50,000 rands worth of premium kitchen products. To enter, share a video of you baking a wonder you've created with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Upload your video and complete your application on the tastemaster.co.za website. Entries close Sunday 25th July. T's and C's apply.